Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here. Well, is this not the biggest damn brake caliper and brake drum you have ever seen? That is a 12 inch crescent wrench for comparison there. So yeah, basically uh, what I gotta do is build a deal that I can stick that and that, that caliper and that rotor in an engine stand. So basically now I gotta chop this guy in half somewhere around in here which should be interesting. I haven't decided how I'm gonna do that one yet because this is a big damn brake rotor. And then I got a piece of 3.8 and I got a piece of DOM over here. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just cut this piece of 3.8 down to where it kind of sits right in here. And I can weld that piece of DOM on there so this can stick in that engine stand and then cut this guy off somewhere on here and then put a little shelf in there to where the top half of this that actually rides in the caliper like that can uh, sit on there and just get tacked onto the uh, on that plate just so it doesn't go anywhere but anyway yeah that's my plan I don't know exactly how well that's gonna work but that's what I'm gonna try anyway I'm gonna put you guys down here and kind of let you see what I'm up to alright so today is one of those days I am glad I have a big chop saw like this or gas powered saw because I got to split this guy right down the middle and I was looking at my porta band and it's like no way in hell it's
right, so I got my mounting plate burnt out here. I got my holes burnt in it. I got my brake rotor cut in half. Now I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and find the center line of this guy here. Stick my mounting tube on there. First I got to drill a hole here uh, in my mount tube there so it can go in that engine stand. And I'm about done with this guy. I may go ahead and radius the corners on this just to kind of clean it up a bit. And actually maybe on this one too, just, you know, make it look a little nicer. And then I got to figure out a shelf or something for this brake drum or rotor rather to uh, sit on there. All right, so now I got to drill a hole in the center of this pipe here. And I know I have done a video on this before, but uh, if you have a mill with the DRO, this is super easy to find the center of the pipe there. Uh, it's two and three eighths pipe. So basically what I have to do, since I have a two and a half inch bit in there, is crank this down until I just touch one edge, zero my DRO, crank it to the other side, and take the measurement there, which is 2.794, flip that and or multiply that by 0.5, and then you can crank that over and you'll have the center line of your pipe there. So really easy to do. Anyway, I gotta drill my hole here, so I'm gonna put the camera down. But I
All right, so I drilled and tapped two holes over here into the rotor there. That's just gonna keep this thing from rattling around. Uh, basically this way and this way, once I weld. Uh, another piece that I cut out is gonna rest right on here and be a little shelf for this guy. I'm not worried about it falling out of here because once it's in here, uh, it'll have pressure on it and it's really not going anywhere. But uh, yeah. Getting close here. I will be thrilled to put this one to bed. I am actually kind of done for the day. So I am all finished up here. I'm excited. So this guy over here just slides in an engine stand and it holds up the rest of this guy. So I got my new brake pads in there. Let me flip it up over here so you can kind of see the rest of it. It's still, it is insanely heavy. So, just brake, uh, brake rotor they're cut in half. Drilled and tapped some holes. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with the way this uh, all fits in here. Tacked on my little deals there because these were some big metric bolts that I was not or did not have. A couple passes of 7018 around there. And this is the slack adjuster on that front brake, by the way. It's just a little Torx right there. Looks like a reverse Torx, rather. You just crank that down to snug it up and away you go. Now by the way, uh, just a useful piece of information, you never ever ever cut these guys apart because there is a spring in there that if it comes apart will rip you in half. It is a three or four thousand pound spring monster. Don't ever 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 mess with those. Anyway, yeah, I'm Darlington Farm. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check back to the channel. Uh, I should have some more welding content up here before too long. I gotta build some iron uh, wrought iron fencing here, well, imitation wrought iron fencing here next week. So, I'm Darlington Farm. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button.